willingness to put up this building for, for you here uh, is a first step, but the key is faculty, you know? And I think that maybe uh, you could convince different firms that are involved in the region to donate chairs that would be uh, funding, in effect, faculty uh, or encouraging faculty that are talented to maybe learn more and be more up to date about our neighboring countries and the reason for their success or failure. No? Uh, I think the private sector can do a lot there. And, uh, and I think if you approach them properly, rightly so about specific things that you can get this kind of donations. No? Thank you, Dr. Sisip. Much as me, we want to entertain more questions. We have to proceed to the next part of the program. Thank you to all the moderators at the UP uh, different campuses. May I now request UP President Emerlinda Roman to present the certificate for the Centennial Fellow Award to Dr. Washington Sisip. Thank you very much, Dr. Sisip, for that very, very insightful um, talk. Uh, there were very many tough questions that were raised and I think we will have the opportunity to answer some of them because the format of the Centennial Lecture Series is such that after all the lectures have been delivered, we're going to gather all our scholars, our students, and uh, well, con learn from all the lectures, consolidate all these lectures and learn from them and find out how else we can improve ourselves. Uh, already we are thinking about uh, a big conference in early 2009 where we will talk about how we can build character among our students and how we can develop in them a sense of country. So some of the questions you raise, I think, can be joined with some of the questions we have set for ourselves. So uh, we will certainly uh, go back to your lecture, refer to them, and uh, see how we can answer the questions. I'd like to thank you for going out of your way to join us. Uh, uh, this is our 21st lecture for the year and we have about nine more to go and so far I think the interest has not waned. I still see big audiences in, in many of the campuses and uh, in fact we're thinking that maybe next year we should have regular uh, uh, lectures like this. So in behalf of the university let me present to you this uh, uh, centennial the certificate. Uh, it's a, uh, you are a centennial lecturer, uh, a centennial fellow of the University of the Philippines. Thank so you. thank you very much, Dr. Sisip, for coming today and for all the support that you have extended to UP. By the way, Dr. Sisip is a big benefactor of the University of the Philippines. Years ago, may I announce Dr. Sisip, he donated 11 million pesos, I remember. One million for every relative of his who graduated from UP. Wow. <laughs> and, uh, and underpaid the tuition. Yes, underpaid, yeah. But there's yes. a check here. Yes, that's right. Can I donate it to me? <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Uh, Pres President Roman. Congratulations, Dr. Sisip. May you have more relatives graduating from UP. <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of the Centennial Lecture Series Committee, we thank our lecturer once more for the sharp-witted views that he shared with us this afternoon. We would also like to thank the audience here in Diliman, as well as those in the regional campuses. Thank you for joining us today and hope to see you again in our next le lecture. This will be held September 9, 2 p.m. at the Science Hall of PGH UP Manila. The main discussant and convener will be former Secretary of Health, Dr. Alberto Romualdez. The discussion will be about the state of the nation's health. Refreshments will be served right outside, so please stay and join us. 
Please rise for the UP Naming Mahal. Ng ating bayan 